I would like to start this off with a shout out to Delta. Thank you for including Countdown till check in. A shout out. We have been following that since 90 days out. It's 2 30 ish in the morning. Some of us only got two and a half hours of sleep or so, but mom's the hardest working one so far this morning. And getting ready to go. Here are the giant sea containers we're taking with us. But as usual, we're still waiting on Christy. But otherwise, everything's shaping up to get going. Six hour drive, we have left the van here, and now we are all loading up. How are you feeling, Bench? Our awesome prepared dad got us here to the gate about three hours early. So we've been chilling, watching movies, playing games. Mom is actually super, are you still excited, Mom? <laughs> she is just thrilled. So, yeah, in 20 minutes we fly to Atlanta and shortly over there and then on to Managua. Now we're on the plane, we have a little bit of a Todd truck section going. Do you like the bench? Oh yeah. Nice. A little small, but nice. Next plane will be bigger. We have made it to Atlanta now, and we're getting our power walk on, switching terminals, and it is going well, and we are all having fun, actually. Yeah. What flying rate flying bench? Uh, Airbus A320. Yeah. There it is. This is our last gate for this trip. It looks so much bigger. <laughs> it's still small, but bigger than the last one, yeah. So that's it's not cool. so much bigger, but it looks bigger. Mom's parked, eating over there. Yeah. We're still excited and all into this, man. All right, we are rolling on our last flight. Mom and Dad are just back there. They're making friends like crazy, and there's already more Spanish than English, it feels like. And all the other guys are getting their movie selection ready, so. Be a good flight. Just happened. We just got here. We have landed and we are about to wait in line for a long time, I feel like. Yeah. TJ said, you know you're in a different country when your language is on the bottom. Which is very true. So here we go for more lines. A little bit of an update. We have arrived finally. Um, two hour drive from the airport then. TJ and Benji are sleeping out in the hammocks tonight. And I apparently am going to be sharing a room with mom and dad. Same here. Just something that hasn't been done in 20 years, probably. Anyway, it's been a long day. We're all excited about going to bed. So, volcanoes tomorrow, they say. TJ, it's now Friday morning. You want to tell us what's going on here? Jonas is operating his uh, pottery operation. Yeah, he's a... It's pretty good. It's got a pretty cool uh, operation. They set up a little seating area for us to watch. This is called making the cylinder, trying to make the different sides of it. And then here's a completed one. They have a bit of a rainbow going. Turtle. Two turtles. He says he likes to do toucans and hummingbirds, just other things from nature, some that are disappearing just so people can see them and appreciate them. Bye. 
got a bowl. I got some stuff. What do you think, TJ? Very um, artistic. <laughs> Finished lunch, and now we came to see a volcano. Um, yeah, most of what you can see is just smoke. Every once in a while, you can see just a tiny bit of kind of glowing orange in the corner, but just a huge crater. All right, we're winding di down after a long day, and Benji is the animal whisperer here now. Well, I wasn't the one that caught him. Oh, tell me about your bunny friend. He's a bunny. And he's a bunny. <laughs> Apparently, I, I have. I don't know because he's very warm. He's breathing very fast. Oh, he's back then. It's good. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for showing him to us. Happy Saturday morning, y'all. Um, we're at a market. We found some Barcelona fabric. And you gotta make that cape dress, but the soccer match is at eight. Yeah. Um, but anyway, ladies are fabric shopping. We got some Do Re Mi. What do you think of the fabric selection, Christy? There's a lot of different stuff. I feel like you're really lucky. Yeah. We're sitting here on the street. Um, about to get our haircut done back in there. But anyway, trying to decide what to do. And this will be our before. See, it's kind of pushy, kind of long on both of us. But we're gonna come out looking clean cut and fresh to death in just a little bit. Here. Yeah. We have just gotten out. And do we look younger and lighter? And we feel like it. <laughs> There's TJ. Sorry. And Dad. Yeah. He really got it too. And Bench. And I'm still going bald, but they do great beard work. Great beard work. Anyway, so now we're off to find the ladies and hope that they haven't bought the place out of fabric. Posing out there, the little soccer action. <laughs> I'm goalie here. Um, oh, that was a close miss. But anyway, beautiful park. Weather continues to be primo. Johnny is our star player of the night. Pretty much. Um, uh, Hannah and Christy. Oh, here we go. Did you have fun with soccer, Jonathan? Pretty fun. I got a little, little beat up. But... Yeah, you want to show me? Yeah, it might have been my fault. I felt really bad. But, yeah, walking home now. You can see a cool old church right at the end down there. But Ken is making pizza for us. And they say it's really good, right? This guy right here is gonna show us one of his tricks with Almost got it. There it is. There we go. Spinning right on his hand. Another night means another parade during Holy Week, I guess. I'll leave it up to you to interpret what's going on there. It's been people for the last 20 minutes. Got a lady in black there. And sad marching band music. Got to keep all the um, power lines out of the halo, I guess. All right, happy Monday morning. Kirk said I need to talk to my phone some more, <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. We're volcano hiking. It's pretty steep up there. How's hiking going, Johnny? Good deal. Looks like we're getting a lot closer now. You can see inside of the dome. Okay.
we have made it to the roof. Pretty cool, isn't it, Jonathan? Yeah. You show us where the volcano is behind? Volcano? Uh huh. Yep, with the cell tower right in between. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We were having such a good time, just sitting and enjoying the sunset. I almost forgot to talk to my phone. So Kirk just says, Patrick, you need to talk to your phone. <laughs> so yeah, we just had a discussion about which is more powerful, the rocks or the ocean? And what do you guys say? I usually almost say ocean. Ocean. We decided on ocean because uh, this will all be beach in a couple thousand years, probably, if the ocean keeps up. And this is how you can tell we're from Wisconsin. White legs. <laughs> yeah, but the ocean is very beautiful. We had a great time, we were swimming just over on that beach. Found a dead puffer fish. We fly out tomorrow morning at 7.35, so like... <laughs> yeah, but it's been a great day today. Volcano and the ocean and all the